softball bat. Okay, it's a hollow. This is a hollow, a hollow tube. You pop the end cap off. It's a complete hollow tube. And when a ball hits bat, okay, this bat will actually press. Okay, and what happens is when it depresses, it's a trampoline effect. It shoots the ball out. Okay, so even though Say you're swinging at 80 mile an hour, hit the ball, and the ball, if it's a wooden bat, there's no trampoline effect. So if a bat hits the ball, it's going to leave at 80 mile an hour. Okay? Now, if the, this ball hits a composite bat, it, it increases the bat speed to cause a trampoline effect. It might go from 80 to 85. This has changed the game. Now, a lot of you, if you guys play high school baseball, they've changed a lot of the rules now. They can't use composite bats. They have to use aluminum because aluminum doesn't have the same trampoline effect as a composite bat does. Uh, but what happens is, with the ball, how core coefficient of restitution affects a bat is to change the game. So now you have a lower core. Okay, it's a little less bouncy, more dense. If you have a bat that's soft and a ball that's hard, when it hits the bat, hits the bat, it's going to cause this bat to compress even more. So the lower the so the lower the, the, the core is, the more the bat's going to compress. It's going to increase the trampoline effect. So when they originally started making balls, 30 years ago, came up with the rules. Everyone was using wooden bats, single wall aluminum bats, and the trampoline effect was nil. So you wanted a hard ball so the bat would dig into the ball and hit it go, let it go further. But now just the opposite has happened. The bats have gotten softer. But the balls kind of stayed the same. So then all of a sudden you get guys, little dudes, hitting the ball and just like, I can hit this bat, I can throw this out of your baseball bat right now. No trouble. Because the trampoline, now take a wooden bat, it wouldn't guard anyone. Anyway. That's all because of the performance of the equipment. And one of the things that's happened is now the associations have figured out that if you play with the core, coefficient of restitution, of course, that it will, if you get it softer, okay, so that the softer the ball is, let's say it's a softer ball, it hits, the ball is given versus the bat, okay? And what happens is the energy that the bat is putting into the ball now it's being displaced. See, I was kind of digging into the ball. So the energy's kind of going outward like that. And versus the bat, the trampoline effect of the bat is increased. Versus the ball that's hard, or hits the ball, the ball's going to keep its shape, and more energy is going into the ball. So it's going to go further. So that's when they started pitchers, like the girls' fast pitch pitchers. With a high tech bat, you get girls pitching, that ball's back on you so quick you can't catch it, you can't, you can't react to it. Because the speed of a coming at you is now four or five mile an hour faster than it used to be. And the same way if you're playing third base, and they so you had to change things to make it safer. Plus, if you get hit, if a ball is hitting you in the arm, it's giving a little bit, versus this ball's harder, it's digging into your body. It's gonna start damaging bones, start damaging skin, tissue. It's a safety issue. So what I did, phase two, to make a better ball was this is a standard softball, another guy's softball. I'll pass you the pass you the something. But you can see the seams of this softball are raised and they're pretty wide. Did you see that fast pitch ball? Yeah. And this is a fast pitch ball. Now these ones are even bigger. Now, these are really raised because the girls like the, the raised seams uh, when they pitch. So you have more, so you, it has more dig into the air, okay, more drag. So the more drag it has, the more, more curve, the more it will curve, the more it will do all kind of moving around. So in slow pitch softball, what we're trying to do is just to maximize distance. We just distance, speed, carry, as far as you can go. And now they come up with these rules with the cores being so soft. So then I went back to the drawing board, come up with, I did a little study on the lift-drag ratios. 
have golf balls that if you have a smooth golf ball with no dimples and a golf ball with dimples, the ball with dimples will outfly the ball with no dimples. Significant, okay? That's because of lift drag ratios. But then if you have your dimples are too big, you have too much drag, and it'll just go like this, go out, go straight up, so drop straight down. Okay, so you're going to find the happy medium. But see, no one in the past has really paid much attention to stitches or seams of the ball. No one's really looked at it. So what I did is I, I said, well, let's just find out. This ball, because there's more drag, it's going to spin, it's going to spin out. It's going to spin, there's more drag, it's going to slow the spin down. It's not going to carry as far. <coughs> or just the opposite will happen. There's so much drag, it'll just go straight up in the air and drop. And you have the regular ball will have some lift to it, and the ball the mine has about the best possible angle to it. You can see they're a lot smaller. Seems are smaller and they're flatter. And that cuts down on the drag. And it travels a lot further. 